When we are talking about a specific person, subject, or object, we avoid repetition through the use of pronouns and definite article references. Have a look at these sentences. The Hitchbot was designed to travel the world. It could talk with humans, ask them for rides, and take pictures of its international travels. Look at the words it and its. What do they refer to? Correct, they refer to Hitchbot. Let's read the following sentences in the paragraph. It traveled across the Netherlands and Germany and through mountainous parts of Canada. But shortly after arriving in Philadelphia in the United States, it was destroyed. An unknown person cut off Hitchbot's arm and legs and threw them in a trash can. Many people were upset. Hitchbot is murdered in Philadelphia, said one newspaper. Who killed Hitchbot, remarked another. What do you notice about references made to Hitchbot? Without reference pronouns, we would have to constantly repeat nouns, which would make us sound boring. Let's look at another set of examples. As humans learn to live with robots, robots will learn to live with humans too. One way is by recognizing human feelings. One example is Pepper, a robot made by Japanese company SoftBank. Pepper can tell if a person's feeling unhappy just from the look on Pepper's face or the sound of Pepper's voice. This helps Pepper get along well with people and give people the help they need. SoftBank sees many uses for Pepper, helping in the house, caring for children, and even medical work. Future robots may even recognize human feelings for another purpose, staying safe. After all, if Hitchcock had been able to recognize danger, Hitchbot might still be alive today. I think reference pronouns make a text more interesting. If you keep on using the same word, repetition becomes boring. Let's look at these sentences. Pepper is a robot. Pepper enjoys interacting with people. The Terminator is a movie about robots in the future. The Terminator is an interesting movie. Our class is going to watch a movie about robots. Our class is going to the school theater. The robots can understand feelings. The robots can interact with human beings. Practice with me. Let us use some pronouns. Pepper is a robot. She enjoys interacting with people. The Terminator is a movie about robots in the future. It is an interesting movie. Our class is going to watch a movie about robots. We are going to the school theater. The robots can understand feelings. They can interact with human beings. Good job! Let's practice more. Complete the exercise.